Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Shopway 6 coupon list and checkout plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the Shopway store owner to display a coupon list within the shopping cart to the customers. The customers can view the coupon list within the shopping cart page and can click on the apply button to use any particular coupon code as per their own requirement. This in turn will help in the promotion of your web store and because of these exciting coupons more and more customers will visit on your Shopware web store. So the admin can create multiple coupons according to the different multiple conditions. The customers can add their products to the cart and after clicking the view coupon list within the cart all available coupon codes that are applicable for the product in the cart get visible in a list format. After that, the customers can choose one or more coupon codes according to their preference and apply them to the cart as required. So the Shopify 6 coupon list uh, at checkout plugin allows the guests as well as customers uh, to see the coupon list in the cart page. Users can see the details of the coupons as well. On clicking the apply button, it automatically updates the cart value. Coupon codes can be applied directly Applied coupon code details are visible in the My Order section to the registered customers. Store owners can add multiple coupons and display them in the cart as well. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin. That's the Shopware 6 coupon list at checkout plugin at the customers and at the guest users end. And uh, thereafter, I'll be showing you how the admin would be able to set up the uh, multiple coupon codes according to different multiple conditions from the admin backend panel of the Shopware website itself. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the Shopware website front end and on an, on one of the categories there that's the coupon list at checkout and here i'm having uh, different products now what i'll be doing is i'll be adding a few products into the cart there and after adding the products into the cart on the right hand side here you can see that we have the watch product and the brand product in the cart the subtotal is for 1359 euros and here you'll find one option with the name use coupon code so if i tap here on this arrow on the left arrow here all of the available coupons that can be applied for the card there are visible to the car, to the user there so right now you can see that i'm not logged into my customer account as a guest user as well i'm able to see the coupon codes within the cart itself uh, here by tapping on this left arrow for the use coupon code i can use the particular coupon codes and from here i can apply any of the coupon codes as per my own requirement there uh, so for example, I can apply the welcome 10 big tree 30. So here's the description of the coupon code and this is the coupon code Basically, this is description of the coupon code. This is the uh, Coupon code itself and here we have the apply button to apply the particular coupon code onto the cart there Even if I go to the shopping cart by tapping here on the go to shopping cart I can see the two products watch and bag and here as well we'll find the use coupon code option if i tap on that i'll find the complete list of available coupon codes there and from here we can apply the coupon codes for example i'll tap here on the apply button the gift code has been added successfully so welcome 10 has been applied and a discount of 135.90 euros has been provided to the customer there and if i want i can add more as well by tapping on the apply button so you can see the welcome 10 and big tree 30 have been applied all together and now the customer only needs to pay 815.40 euros for the particular order that the customer is going to place there so this was the workflow at the guest users and now let me log into the uh, registered customer account there by entering the email password and tapping on the login button so i already have a product in the card there that's the watch and the bank and I've already applied two coupon codes. Let me remove them out. Now let me show you the workflow at the registered user's end. So uh, here the subtotal is for 1359 uh, euros. Uh, so I'll apply the coupon codes. I'll find the complete list of coupon codes, codes available within the card there itself. 
and from here I can tap on the for example let's apply on welcome 10 I'll tap here again let me close this out I'll apply the big tree 30 as well so I've applied two coupon codes now we just need to pay 815.40 euros for the particular order there now let's tap here on the proceed to checkout button before the completion of the order if I scroll down here I can see the products that are within the count there and the two coupon codes that we have applied that is the welcome 10 and the big tree 30 one is for 1300 uh, one is for 135.90 euros and the other one is for 407.70 euros itself right so now here I'll select the I have read and accepted the general terms and conditions and I'll tap here on the submit order button thereafter now after the order has been placed even after that I can view the details of the coupon codes that I've applied for the order there so here if I scroll down here you can see that we have applied two coupon codes a uh, welcome 10 and big uh, 330 even if I go back to the shop and go to my order section uh, here as well for the particular order number 10015 if I tap on the view button I have to watch in the back and I have the two coupon codes applicable on this particular order that's the welcome 10 and the big tree 30 as well and the gross total that was to be paid by the customer was 815.40 euros itself right so that was the workflow on the guest user end and at the registered user end of how the uh, users would be able to see the coupon codes within the cart itself and how they can apply the coupon codes within the cart and how the details of the coupon applied coupon codes are visible to the registered users as well now let me talk, take you to the Edwin backend panel of the Shopware web, so, web, so, web store there and let me enter the username password and tap on the login button now after the successful installation of this particular plugin uh, you'll be able to make use of the same and uh, uh, to create the uh, what we say as the coupon codes what you need to do is you need to navigate to marketing and then promotions here under promotions you'll find the complete list of coupon codes that you've created so here you can see that we have the welcome 10 big tree 30 summer 21 coupon 11 now the same were visible here uh, when we were adding the products into the cart if I add a product into the cart for example and I tap here coupon 11 summer 21 big tree 30 festive 40 and the welcome 10 as well so all of these coupon codes are visible here now using default functionality of the store you can create the uh, promotions there or the coupon codes are there for the cart there by tapping on the add promotion button I've already created a few coupon codes uh, let's uh, edit one of the coupon codes like the welcome 10 so I'll tap here on I'll tap on the edit option so the very first thing that you need to do is you need to complete the general settings first and after completing the general settings you need to save the particular thing after you've saved it up then you'll get the conditions and the discounts section and the promotion code section as well so under the general settings you have to give the name of the coupon code there or the description of the coupon code basically uh, you have to set it the validity from and until the maximum uses uh, total uses the maximum uses per customer you have to enable it up and uh, you have to give the promotion code uh, set the promotion code as well you can generate a random code as well as per your own requirement and you can choose uh, to have a no promotion code required fixed promotion code or individual promotion codes as per your own requirement so this totally depends upon your own requirement how you want to create the coupon codes there and then under the conditions you can set the uh, sales channel where this uh, uh, particular coupon code would be applicable you can set the rule based conditions customer rules can be set shopping cart rules can be set uh, order rules can be set as per your own requirement there and then you can go to the discount section and uh, choose the discount whether it's applicable to the cart or what depending upon your requirement there choose apply to specific range of products only or to all products then choose the type and the value of this coupon code and the maximum discount value that can be uh, availed using this particular coupon code itself and then what you need to do is you need to just tap here on the save button to save the 
initial configuration settings for your particular coupon code so this totally depends upon your own requirement how you want to create the coupon codes and after you have created the coupon codes for your card there after setting up the general conditions and the discount values there for the coupon codes those coupon codes would then be visible within the available coupon codes within the card if they are applicable on the uh, card there itself depending upon the multiple conditions that you have set according to the multiple conditions if those are sufficed only then those uh, coupons would be visible here within the card itself so yes that was much about the shopware 6 uh, coupon list and checkout uh, plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding how this particular uh, plugin allows the shopware store owner to display a coupon list within the uh, shopping cart to the customers the customers can view the coupon list within the shopping cart page and can click on the apply button to use any of the particular coupon codes uh, there so here as well if i tap you can see the particular gift code has been or the coupon code has been applied that's the big tree 34256.79 euros to the cart there and then the customer can tap on the proceed to checkout button to proceed to the checkout uh, with the discounts uh, by by availing the discount on the particular order there after applying the coupon code itself so yes that was much about the shopware 6 uh, coupon list and checkout uh, plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow the same if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.